and kripas and groves like Vindana. Mountains like you are and growth. Everything. You can sing one kripas.
Always, you just should bring some flowers, uh, one mala for Bhagavatam, do arti, and then we will be done. Daily, <coughs> this should be done. Beginning and in end also. Also, from tomorrow, you should bring uh, chandan. Chandan, you know? Yes. Malaya chandan. And three tulsi patram in a bell. Guys, I can. In the back, okay. जानता नहीं है ये सब ये सब नियम कानून नहीं जानता इनसे कहाँ करके लक्षण करने के जय जय राधा कृष्णा जुगल मिला बाय सेटिंग यू नो डोंट रिमेंबर I don't want that always you should see books and then create. You remember? Uh, yes, you do. Jaya Jaya Radha Krishna Yuga Lamira Jaya Jaya Radha Krishna Yuga Lamira
नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय पुत्रे तन्मयतया तर्भोदु तंगूत्रिद मुनिमास्मी तबैवास्मी important than vedas upanishad and all it means that krishna is himself this is the embodiment of krishna the 12 parts of the body of krishna is 12 cantos especially 
his heart is tenth. And in heart, five kinds of air, like pram, is there. Without pram, a body cannot be. So five prams are like five chapters of Srimad Bhakta, tenth kaito, kanto, from twenty nine to thirty three. And they are called Rash Pancha, Dhyayi Pancha Pran. That's that. So we'll explain all these things. First of all, I'm coming a very brief relation with my Gurudev and Shravaji. Our Guru Maharaj left this world, no, his relation with worldly relations, mother and brother and everything, in 1916. And he came to Mayapur and he met with Srila Prabhupada. Of this <coughs> she was very beautiful, very soft, but very energetic and intelligent. He used to sat, said Prabhupada, and he became very much pleased, happy with this new energetic war. He gave English first initiation, that is Harinam, in 1960. But later on, our Guru Maharaj left his college and gave up his study, because he saw that the professors and principals They cannot understand the philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Though in MA there was subject, Chaitanya Chaitamri, Srimad Bhagavatam as subjects. But they could not understand the meaning Vadanti Tattva Vidas Tattam Yadi Gyanam Advayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaneti Shabdhati. Also in Chaitanya Chaitamri, Jivera Sarupa Nitya Krishna Das. Krishnera Tatastha Sapi Bheda Bhed. What is called Bheda Bhed Prakash? What is Tatastha Sapi? And Badanti Tattva Vidas Tattam Jajagyanam Advayam. What is Advayagyan? They cannot explain. They used to come to our Guru Dev. He was like a student. But they used to come to him. That he should explain all these things. So he thought that no use of reading in these schools and colleges. So he left the college and joined the moment of his Guru Dev, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Now you see that. Serving Swamiji for 16 or more than 24 years, serving him and having renounced order, but yet they feel that we should take a study in colleges. In America, I am seeing that. So many senior Vaishnavas of Swamiji are now joining colleges, running <coughs> all bad kinds of philosophies, impersonal philosophies and other things. But I think it, it is no, 
that they have no at all belief in salvation. That Guru they all said. So he left the college and joined forever the mission of his Guru Dev, serving him. Swamiji, Bhaktivedanta Swamiji, met his Guru Dev in 92, uh, 92, 22, 1992. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, told him to write articles in Back to Godhead. That was the harmonist. And he should serve. And you can preach in English. They were, from then, they become friends. Once, but he joined in Calcutta, uh, Bengal Chemical. And he became manager of that company. Gurudev was serving in Mayapur and Calcutta. His Gurudev, always living with Gurudev. Once there was a parikrama in Navadvip, about thousands of pilgrims were there. They were doing parikrama with Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti, Siddhan, Sarfati, Goswami, Thakur. <coughs> In front of all pilgrims, a very big elephant was there, and Gauravityananda Prabhu or Radha Krishna were on the back of that elephant, so decorated. And all were singing Kirtan, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Arvind Gadadha and Hare Krishna Hare Krishna and all Kirtans. They crossed the Ganges and came in the middle of now the there there is a Shibhigra of Jog Maya, Praudha Maya. She came from upper side from Mayapur. She was at first. Bridhashi and this Jog Maya, Praudha Maya were at first in Mayapur. But a flood came so much, it did destroyed everything and took in water whole Mayapur except in the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, all inhabitants came in the other bank. And also she was brought to this you know, the town that is called Kolodvip. So he was see, there. His preaching was very solid strong. He used to speak truth. No <coughs> compromise with Sahajiya, Sakhibheki, uh, Asmart Brahman and all others. No compromise. All enthusiastic youngs were following. Shilabhakti Siddhan Saraswati. So many. He was on the opinion of Daiva Varnashram Dharma. You know, Daiva Varnashram Dharma? Mm -hmm. India, now, smart Brahmanism is there. Those who have come in Brahman family, they will Brahman. Whether they are not following the rules and regulations of Brahmanism. Those who know Brahma, Krishna is Brahman actually. This is the rule. But those who are not following this, coming only in the in the bonds, dynasty of Brahman. Dynasty of Brahman, then he is called Brahman. Whether he don't know or R E E or Anuswar and Bishar or anything. <coughs> they have no belief in Krishna or any manifestations of Krishna, but yet they tell them Brahman has in all <coughs> costs. 
Prabhupada told that those have come in the dynasty of Bans, of Brahmins, but they are not acting as a Brahman. They are actually no Brahman. They are Shudra. And those who have come anywhere in any cost, but they are Bhakta, Jidhoti, they are actually Brahmin. More than Brahmin. They should be honored. Not all bogus persons coming only in Brahman family, but not actually knowing Brahma or doing work. Also, the Goswamis in their also family, not doing actually devotion of Krishna, not worshipping Krishna. They take mind, flesh, fish and all these things, but even they think that we are Goswami, in the line of Rupa Goswami. Prabhupada told very strongly opposed this and told anyone who is coming in the family of Goswami are not family, not Goswami. Sanatana Goswami has no family, Rupa Goswami has no family, any of the six Goswami has no family. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left his world, no son, no family, no daughter. Adaita Taj has rejected his Eight sons, only Achutanand was he adopted and he has no married, he has also no. Nityananda Prabhu, after Birchanda, he has no son or nothing. So, from where these Goswami came? Actually, they are not following the rules and regulations of Goswami, not have no devotional services, not chanting, nothing. They are taking flesh and they were worshipping Devi. <laughs> Durga Devi and all other, so they are not Vaishnavas, they are not actually Goswamis. So all became against of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. So they attacked there with soda bottles, <coughs> stones, chips of stones, warm water, and they wanted to kill Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Don't take sleep. Like sleep like this. Otherwise, don't sit easy. Like this, like this. Then we will do like this. And you plan. <laughs> Give me ten days for me. One hour is mine. Don't think it is your for testing easiness and Rest 23 hours, they can sleep. Ah. You can sleep. <laughs> Rest uh, 23 yeah. hours. But one hour should be given to Pakka. Pakka, you know? 100%. 100%. Don't sleep, don't chow and don't do anything. Very patiently you should hear. If you will hear, it is guaranteed that you will have bhakti. It is guaranteed. Your Krishna Bhakti will be improved and you will never fear for anything. You will be like Parikshit Maharaj. Try to hear all these things like Parikshit Maharaj. I am not Sukhdev Goswami, but I have seated on the same ashram. I have also no desire like him. Nothing desire, only desire for me to serve Radha Krishna, Gauri, Dhananda Prabhu. So, they wanted to kill, all ran away from there. All were seeing their own, that how we should. Save ourselves. Save None was seeing that Prabhupada was there. But there was one. Disciple. He was standing by him all day. And he saw that so many stones, soda bottles, and all are coming, water, everything. He protected. protected. Taking all the stones and soda bottles, and he knew one devotee who was nearby. He took Srila Prabhupada with him and entered that house. 
they shut up the door, they close the door, and there that disciple, Vinod Bihari Brahmachari, our Guru Dev, he prayed him that you should give your cloths to me and take my cloths and I will try to easily take away from here to Mayapur at once. Otherwise, we cannot say. Prabhupada, anyhow he accepted. And he took all the cloths of our Guru Dev, white dress, our Guru Maharaj used to be in very fine dress, like Babu. Mm -hmm. Jamindar. Jamindar family. Jamindar family, you know? Landlord. Landlords. Lord family. A stake in his hands. Very beautiful. This expensive cloth. <coughs> he used to ride on horses. Very beautiful horse. So, Prabhupada, just to love and affect his love him so much. So he took the white dress of our Gurudev and he gave his red cloth, everything is done to our Gurudev. And thus he was set and he was. Suddenly he returned to Mayapur and after that Gurudev, keeping his hands in his, uh, his life in hands. Anyhow, police came and set him and he, anyhow, he all thought that he is Prabhupada and they wanted to kill him. So, Prabhupada became so much happy and satisfied to our Gurudev. So he was in Mayapur and starting <coughs> like Rupa Goswami sat, he became the manager of Patrika, uh, Dainik Nadia Prakash, Gauriya. He was a very learned person. He was a poet, burn, burn poet. You can see his Tulsi, Arti and all other things. But after the appearance of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati a black is black period came in our Saraswati Gaudiya Vaishnava. So many devotees began to return to their homes having marriage and worldly life. That's it. Like when Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swamiji left this world, so many devotees returned to their homes, they married and they became home. And some of them were here and there, no inspiring left. Some left this practice bhakti yoga also. So everything was upset. Periodical papers, monthly papers like Gaudiya, Harmonist, Bhagavad Patrika were stopped. Parikrama was stopped. Everything was stopped. Srila Prabhupada told our Guru Dev when he was Brahmachari. He has given sannyas before, I told. This, is, this was real sannyas. But anyhow he told that. In dream he told that. Why you are not taking sannyas? Everything is going to be upset. You should at once take sannyas. <coughs> so, he left Gaudiya mission at that time. And he came to Bhag Bajar, Calcutta and established Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti in 1941 and one of the prominent person was this Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Abhay Charanand in that, that, that. 
At that time, Vaishnava has given him Bhakti Vedan title also. So our Guru Maharaj established Gloria Vedanta Samiti. Vedanta is not Sankaracharya Vedanta. Especially Vedanta is Bhakti. To establish this in this world, he established Gloria Vedanta Samiti. Swamiji Maharaj has written us in a letter this fact that I was also one of the three prominent person who established Gaudiya Vedan Samiti and since I am serving <coughs> in Gaudiya Vedan Samiti, he was chief editor, editor in charge of our Gaudiya Patrika and Bhagavad Patrika in which I was the editor. In both I was the editor, so he was chief editor. And he used to write so many articles in two papers and he was a very famous person. He met in, me in very early in 1947 after our parikrama was was done. No the parikrama. I went with my Guruji to Calcutta. Guru Maharaj was so much pleased to keep me as his personal servant. I used to always cook, wash his clothes, so many services and always noting everything what he uttered. <coughs> At that time I did not know Bengali. I learnt Bengali to read Jaiva Dharma, to read Chaitanya Chaitanya. I served him in so many ways. He was so much pleased to me. After some time he gave sannyas. So I met him, Swamiji, in Calcutta. Bath Bajar in Boshpara Lane. <coughs> Swamiji came there, <coughs> very big personality. They joking modes with my Gurudev. They said they sit on the same ashram. Guru was <coughs> Sanyasi and he was Grihastha. But yet they both were sitting on the same platform. And as if they are very bosom friend, I saw them joking towards each other. And they were so much immersed in Harikatha. From that very beginning, I was well known to Swamiji. He asked me, from where you have come? What is your name? And so on, so many questions. And he was very much happy with me. After that, when we meet, he used to love me so much. After that, uh, <coughs> Swamiji met me in Mathura in 90, early in 1954. At that time, he was telling me that I went to Srila Prabhupada. He used to love me. But I was so fearful to read one shloka of Srimad Bhagavatam. Yada jasya grhnati harishe tad dham shanai. That if anyone takes altar of Krishna, <coughs> Then Krishna make him a street beggar. So I was thinking and was so fear that if I am chanting, remembering Krishna and hearing Harikatha, doing so much all these services to Krishna, then I will have to feel poor. I was fearing. And suddenly I saw that I lost my job. <laughs> in Bengal committee. I resigned from there and came to Allahabad and established another medical uh, factory. But he fell again after one year. Then he used to, uh, he established a very good shop of medicine in where Jawaharlal Nehru, that Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi used to come to his shop. 
But after some time, he also lost that. So he became more fearful. He wanted to begin other jobs, but everywhere. <coughs> he was telling, oh, Srimad Bhagavat is true. <laughs> Then their, his wife and children also kicked him because he was not giving any money to them. So he came to Mathura in our case of Jigauriyama. I served him I, because I knew that he was very bosom friend of my youth. I served him by cooking myself, by giving all kinds of services to him. And he was writing, Chaitanya Chaitamrita, he has written in his letter also. Back to Godhead he was doing. After this, I had a proposal to him that your wife and children have rejected you. You have lost everything. Then why you are waiting for these all things? What do you want? I pray you. That is just to take some years. Then he told this story. I was very proud of this. I think that by the wish of God and Guru and Gauran, I will have to take perhaps this for which I was fearing for so long. He has also accepted in his letter that it, it was Narayan Maharaj who constantly <laughs> told me to take some nurse. <laughs> at last Guru Dev came at that same time and he also, I requested my Guru Dev, please request Mabacharanar Prabhu to take some nurse. Then he was angry and on the Vishwarup Khaur day he took some nurse there. I made him done, he is done. I made his, this, all things, and I was priest at there, there. And after that, he came to America, Boston perhaps, for four. And after that, he came to New York, 22nd Avenue, <coughs> and he began to preach. Very soon, he preached over the whole world. If there was no power of Krishna, anyone cannot preach like that. So he was not ordinary person. He used to love me also because when I he returned from England first time, only I was the person to receive him in airport. airport. And taking prasad with him, at first time, oh, what? Uh, Kirtananand was there and Achyutanand came from Calcutta. <coughs> he ordered me to preach because he was not feeling so. Uh, so I went in Delhi so many times <coughs> to preach. After that, he ordered me to send his all books, everything to New York, Second Avenue, I served him. In the last day, when he was going from this world, he called me very honorably and took my hands in his hands and told that you should help my mission, all the disciples. And one thing I request you, that with your own hand you should give me Samadhi. Samadhi. And after Samadhi, Bira Mahotsav will be done by you also. That is. And after that, yes, always try to help my devotees. I did it to my <coughs> best capacity. <coughs> capacity. Still, I am in the same, same way. I want that is going to be flourished. I want to help them. Though they don't want to take my help, but I am saying that if they are not taking help of any 
good devotees. They cannot live long. They will lose their faith. So only a association of very bona fide good Vaishnav can save anyone. It is so important. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra God. Law Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shiddhya. Everything. I told uh, Shamlesh all these things about me. Only to tell that I am a very, uh, very unworthy servant of Swami. I have so much relations with him. Though I was unworthy, but he accepted me. And I accepted him like my Shiksha Guru. I honored him his whole life. I served him and helped him in so many ways. So now some uh, some uh, thing is coming from the devotees of his own that I have not served actually him. No relation at all. False, bogus, some things come. But I don't care for it. I am still in the same mood to serve. I have come also. I came <coughs> last time, uh, first time also. I took I, the dust of Swamiji's lotus feet everywhere when where he went. But by this, some problem came from for school. And they told me not to go anywhere in their muds. I know that there is no their muds. All is of Swamiji. I have right to go anywhere because I think myself is first disciple. So any man cannot take this thing. Anyone cannot take any God brother's mood. They cannot control. They can tell that you should not come. But how anyone can take the respect of his Gurudev that you cannot serve him? Anyone has no right to take it. All disciples have this right strongly to serve his Gurudev. Where not being in any mud, or out of mud. In this temple they will serve their Guru Dev. No harm. So, <coughs> again, perhaps he has brought me here. I want to help the devotees as much as I can. I think that I sh in 11 days now, beginning from today, will always glorify Srimad Bhagavatam Gita and all other things. Krishna Katha from ten country. Now we will do an Ikirtan and after that ten minutes any Kirtan. Shri Krishna Chaitanya
Yes, sir. Help. In a tune. <coughs> All the persons will give up good qualities. There will be materialistics, always enjoying all material happiness, especially wealth, wine, and women or men. They have no belief, they will have no belief in Krishna. They will try to develop so many things. They will uh, do so much progress in worldly life, especially communication and transportation. In medical lines, 
a very wonderful change will come. <coughs> they were thinking. The wives, the women will be quite free. There will be characterless, having no good qualities, always changing husbands, involved in material things, also men, no bhakti, no body culture. They will always be involved in worldly things. Some will learn honor their father and mother. Fathers and mothers will be like same, always engaged in testing worldly things. The Brahmins will give up their Brahminism, devotion and everything. The persons will be called learned, who will tell false things, chattering and pattering worldly things. The women will be only think, they will think that if you will decorate our hairs, you will be so beautiful. <laughs> They will follow no road and revelation. They will color their lips. And they will be, they will think to use so many artificial things for making their beauties. But the beauty of their inner thing will go away. Men will always cheat others and very, very selfishness <coughs> at that time. What should I be doing? They were thinking in this way. At once Brahma suggested them to go to Namisharan and they should do anything for Kaliyu. They assembled there and they were thinking what to do. They were doing sacrifices, fire sacrifices. They did so much that all what, uh, environment became black. Their body also became black. Inner and outer of their body also became black. <coughs> In the meantime, Baldev Prabhu came. No Bharsan Shut was there and he was reading Purans and they were, all the rishis were doing fire sacrifice. He was reading Purans when Bhadde Prabhu came, all the rishis and maharshis, very learned, they stood up and welcomed Bhadde Prabhu. But this fellow reading Purans, sitting on the asana of death, he could not honor. Even he could not stand up. So he, by his hand, he cut his neck, neck and he fell his head there. He was dead. Received that. Weeping, why you did so, Baldev Prabhu? You are himself God. He told that he is not qualified to read Bhagavatam or any Quran and to be a teacher. If he is not, on, not honoring Guru, <coughs> Vaishnava, and thinking himself that I am so learned in Bhagavatam and Quran, he is not qualified. I should not sit on the chair of any Vaishnava. What do you want? They wanted. If you want, I can give life to this person. They told, no, we don't want. 
but we want that there should be anyone who can reach Purans in our society. Lomasan Sut had a very little son, his name was Ugrasava <coughs> Sutta. He was at that time of five years old. Baldev well, Prabhu keep his hand on that boy and inspired him. Mercifully, began to recite all the Vedas, Upanishads, all the Purans and Upanishads and he made him to sit on the throne and to, to speak Purans and everything. This Ugrasa was fortunate to attend the Harikatha in the <coughs> Council of Parikshit Maharaj told by Subhadeva Goswami. All rishis were there and he was reading Simat Bhagavad. Yeah. So he is telling. He is doing pranam to his Gurudev, Sukhadeva Goswami. Yang prapajanta anupetam apeta kriptam dvaipayeno virahakatar ajuhav utreti tanmayata tarobhinevi tam sarva bhuta ridayam muri mahantusha. Doing pranam to his Gurudev, he began to tell Harikatha. The purpose of this is that <coughs> he is praying to his Gurudev that when he took birth at once there was no sanskar. You know sanskar? If anyone has this sacred sanskar of Upanayan, then can, he can read Srimad Bhagavatam or Upanishad or any mantra he can utter, otherwise not. So he had not caught his link with her mother. He was not pure, coming from his womb of her mother. He at once ran to forest. His father, Vyasdev, was calling him, Oh son, oh son, where you are? He did not reply anything, but Instead of him, the forest echoed, Who is son? Ocean, ocean. No relation of son and father here. Who is father? Who is son? Who is wife? Who is husband? <coughs> All these relations are false. Why you are calling son? <coughs> He running, entered in the very deep forest. He saw that there were some ladies, naked quite, taking bath in a very sacred pond. Vyas was persuading this, his son and Sukhdeva Goswami was going. The girls were naked. They did not care for Sukhdeva Goswami. He was a boy like 16 years old. He was in his mother's home 16 years. And now he was beautiful, young, naked, quiet, going. The lady saw, but no effect. They were, as usually they were, taking bath. But when Vyas came, he was an old person, big, big, white. Hairs and big hairs, white hairs. He came, the ladies became sent, sent food. And they came out of the water and they took their <coughs> clothes and a smile and very shameful way more. They began to apologize. Make apology to the Ashley. Was, was they told that I wonder that my son was going, he was at the age of 16, very young. You could not, uh, you, should, uh, you did not any shame for my, for my son. But I am so old that 
you are like uh, daughters of daughters of daughters to me. I am so much older than two thousand, uh, two, three uh, hundred or four hundred years is like. <coughs> but you are saying <coughs> they told that you are asking from us that why we are saying. And you are seeing, seeing that we are girl. But he has nothing to do with us. No question, he thought that they are like dry woods. And then Vyas was so very returned to home, his cottage, and wanted how I can again call this my son because I have completed Srimad Bhagavatam. In this world, I am saying that no one is qualified to read this, to study this. This boy is actually very qualified. Nothing, no attachment for worldly things. No attachment. He does not know that I am his father. Anyone is his father. And no attachment. No claws, quite naked, no sand at all. And he is realized so. So if I can charm him, and anyhow I will manage to bring that my son <coughs> return in my cottage, I can try to uh, study. Did you make him teach him? Teach him. Simon. So, one day he was saying that some hunters were going in the forest. He called them. Why you are going to forest? They told that we are hunters. We go to take any birds and parrots, so many things, deers, we hunt them. We can take their places or we can take uh, parrots and all other birds and we sell to others for maintaining our lives. Oh, I will give you mantra. You should, be, you should try to be my disciple and I will give a very powerful mantra that easily you will be successful in catching birds and doing all things. He wrote some verses and he told that you should remember this verse. Varaha pidam nata varabhaku karnayo karnikaram vipradabhasa kanaka kapisam vajayanti jamalam arandhrana venurada sutaya purajan gopa vrindai vrindarannam sabadaramanam pravishatagi tatr. He taught them how to pronounce it. Very lovely and Their voice was so sweet. He selected some hunters <coughs> who were young and he, he taught them first. And he told that you should go and in forest you should loudly sing this mantra. Automatically, so many birds will, come. birds will come, so parrot and all others. When they went in forest and loudly they sang this, this slok. It is the slok in which Krishna's highest beautifulness is told there. How Krishna is beautiful? like a very kishore boy, having floats, <coughs> very affectionately seeing, searching anything, calling in Bansi, having peacock feather here, 
some Bajanti Mala here from neck to feet. One flower. Kaneer full means? Yellow flower. Yellow flower. His mouth, this, the mouth of the flower always towards sun. Always. So it will move. The mouth of the flower will also move towards the sun. Yellow. Krishna body is like Shyam. And this flower is yellow. So very beautiful matching. Keeping one flower here. And sometimes that very flower here. Like a very beautiful young person. Covered and surrounded by so many sakhas there. And all are telling him, sadhu, sadhu, hearing his flute. All are chanting, even all are chanting. Not only men and women, but all the animals there. Too. When they were shouting this mantra, uttering, at once they saw that so many parrots, so many birds were in their triumph. They become so pleased. At once this soup Goswami also came. And he was telling, where you have got this slope? Who taught you? He told that. There is a Rishi, his name is Delabyas. He has taught him this. Can you ask him? This is the beauty of that uh, supreme personality of Godhead. What are his quality? He should ask and tell me another day. When they returned, they were so happy and they made Vyasa and told uh, one Sukh. A boy came of 16, very beautiful, and he has asked that you have told the beauty of Krishna, but can you tell the qualities of Krishna? How he is, what are the, his qualities? Then Vyas they taught, again taught, one is low, and that low was. Aho Baki Yam Stanaka Alakutam Jihan Saya Pai Adaya Pesadvi Leve the thing Tanutat to Chitan Toto Kamba Dayalum Saranam Regin. The meaning of this is low. Like that. Putana was denting the blood of new burn childs, murdering them, choosing, shocking the plots, always killing boys here and there. She was so cruel, she took so much with her soul and life, and thus met him. His mother, he poured his soul and forever he made like his mother. So in this world there is not anyone merciful like Krishna. Anyone can go to him <coughs> and he will never give up. He will accept all. Whether he will be demon, not demon, animal, anything he may be. But how those will go to Krishna, Krishna will charge and terrify his heart and give liberation easily. What to tell of liberation? He will give his own service in Braja. So he is Sukhya. At once attracted and he came running to his father. Where is that old person? <laughs> and he came nearby to Vyas and fell flat on the first feet of Vyas. 
I want to read the book in which you have compiled all these things. I want to hear. I want to read a study of the book. He has admitted in Srimad Bhagavatam that I was impersonal. What? Impersonalist. But by the mercy of Vyas, he uh, taught me Srimad Bhagavatam. And I became Rashi Bhakta Vaishnava. So I want to give some Krishna Katha from that Srimad Bhagavatam. From tomorrow, I will try to explain Srimad Bhagavatam. The characteristics of Krishna, Balya Lila, Bhavanda Lila, and Kishore Lila. In them, there are so many teachings of Bhakti, and everything. So you should hear it patiently. The glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and everything will come in that. <coughs> Go, Praman. Now you can do a kirtan, and after kirtan, you can do arti here. And after arti, do parikrama. In morning, also there will be car class. If I will be okay, then I will do 10, 10 minutes of kirtan. Otherwise, uh, any devotee, like Nirvan Prabhu, and so many are qualified by Islam. We will hear from them. And in morning, tomorrow, I want to take the son of the duty where I used to go in the morning. It will be. I will tell some little. If it has been offered, if it is not offered, then it will be offered to duty, then bring. Then I will give some. Has it been offered? Already offered? Already offered? Are you going to give it to me? Yes. You should take there and Prabhu's Guru Dave is going to our local temple tomorrow morning and he'll come at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning to take darshan of the deities and maybe to say something. So you're all welcome to come. <laughs>
with her. I'm happy to meet you. One of the very first disciples of Srila Prabhupada. Everyone should stay for our tea. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard, but we need to stay for our tea. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I just left it in my house.